Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to store a cut avocado, the best method for storing it. I'm gonna do that by showing you 12 different ways. We're gonna try using the avocado peel. We're gonna try blanching the avocado and we're gonna try freezing the avocado. Okay, so I'm gonna start just working on the avocado peel version. So we're also gonna do lemon juice and lime juice, oil, and also using a slice of onion to store the avocado. Even though I'm taking the pit out of this one, we're also gonna be using the pit and wrapping it in plastic, also vinegar, submerging the avocado in water, and like any good science experiment, you need a control method where you don't do anything. So here's the thing though, you have to watch to the end because I'm gonna show you how these different methods work. I'm gonna talk about the science. One thing to know with all of these avocados, all the avocados are about the same size, the same ripeness and firmness, and with each avocado, they're then stored in a container and then stored in the fridge. Okay, so I have my avocado peel, Put that in the container, close that up, and now move on to the next one. We're gonna blanch a whole avocado. We're gonna put it in a pot of boiling water, that's really important, and submerge it into a ice bath. Then our next method is gonna be freezing, so I'm just gonna take avocado half, put it in a container, put the lid on it, and throw it just right in the freezer. Easy breezy. So why am I doing this? Back in 2012, I released a video on just this, how to best store a cut avocado. Real simple, one method, store it with a sliced onion. So I did that video and I've had a lot of questions, comments and everything since that video has come out. And I was like, hey, you know what? Let's explore all the methods. That's why we're here. Do you want a sneak peek? I think you kind of do, right? You want to see what the avocados are looking like so far. So I'm going to go through all the different methods, but here's a real quick look at what those avocados look like right after this. Okay, so what do you think, right? Who do you think is gonna be the winner? Drop your comment below. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually store the avocado with some lemon juice and just lightly brush the top of the avocado, put that back into a container. We're just gonna do the same thing. Take our avocado, brush it with a little bit of lime juice, put it in a container, put it in the fridge. So here's the real funny thing about avocados. It's actually a fruit. And not only is it a fruit, it's actually a berry. And it gets weirder than that, right? So the avocado, get this, you're gonna, like this is gonna blow your mind. The avocado does not ripen on the tree. So I'm gonna start on the oil method next. Same with this one, with the oil one, just like the lemon juice and just like the lime juice, we're just gonna take it and brush it lightly with some oil to coat it. Once again, just put it in a container, put a lid on it, put it in the fridge. So here's the method I did back in 2012, the onion method. So storing the avocado with a slice of onion. Now, one of the questions that I got a lot for this part is I used a red onion because I had a red onion. So no, it doesn't have to be a red onion. So I'm using a white onion this time just for that reason. Just put it into the container with the onion sliced on top, pop it in the fridge. Okay, so now it's science time. Bam, you got your avocado, right? You cut into your avocado. This is what kicks off that reaction because of two different things. One, the exposure to oxygen, but then secondly, there's the phenolic compounds that are underneath the skin of the avocado. Those two things in conjunction are what cause the avocado to brown. Okay, so before I get into the rest of that science, I'm gonna start the plastic part next. We're gonna store it in a container and put it in the fridge. Getting back to the science part, these phenolic compounds, they get turned into what are called quinones from that exposure to the air. Those quinones then produce polymers called polyphenols. It's that polymerization that shows up as the brown color on the avocado flesh. So I have, wrapping up the plastic one here, literally, and I have a sneak peek for what the avocados look like day two. Let's start out with our next method, which is vinegar. Because I had this question before, red onion, white onion, you can use apple cider vinegar, whatever you wanna use, any kind of vinegar. I mean, I wouldn't use balsamic vinegar. This is the thing. This happens in other produce, right? We've seen apples brown. It's the same kind of thing that's going on, that oxidization that causes the fruit to start to brown. So the reason for this might actually surprise you. The quinones are actually toxic to bacteria. So it's kind of a good thing that that browning is happening. Okay, you've waited long enough. Day two, here it is, check it out. Okay, so we just have a couple methods left, right? We're gonna do water and our control method next. Get our avocado cut open. So the water method is pretty simple. Just take cut avocado, put it in the container, fill it with water. 
just like everything else, put a lid on it, put it in the fridge. And then our last method is the easiest method of all. You just take the half of avocado, just as it is, put it in a container. This is our control method, so we're gonna use that to measure every other method by. Close it on up and put it in the refrigerator. Okay, so before I get into actually storing the cut avocados and who the winner is and who the loser is, let me tell you about actually storing a whole avocado. What you need to do is buy an, an under-ripened avocado. Remember, I mentioned avocados don't ripen on the tree. So buy an under-ripened avocado, put it in a paper bag with an apple or banana and close that paper bag up outside of the fridge, store it that way until it reaches the ripeness that you want. So once it gets to that point, then you wanna put it in the fridge. If you put it in the fridge, once it hits the ripeness that you want, it'll be perfect for you. It'll actually keep fresh for about a week or so that way, maybe even longer. Now that I mentioned that though, let's take a look at day three. Let's see how these avocados are doing. And I have one little fun fact for you while you're taking a look at that. So <laughs> this is, you know, for something for you to tweet out or share on Facebook or just tell a friend at a dinner party when we can have those again. The Aztec word for avocado, which is something I can't pronounce, so I'm just gonna put it on the screen right here. So the Aztec word for avocado was also an Aztec euphemism for testicle. So there you go. Fun fact, right? Okay, here's the fourth day of those avocados. Take a look. This science experiment is more than just the visual part of the avocado, right? Based on how you store it, the texture might change a little bit. So that's important too. Does it look pretty, but does it also still maintain everything that you love about those creamy, buttery avocados? So let's give them a try. Here we go. have a winner. Here's the TLDR, right? So use the blanching method if you don't mind a little bit of cooking. Just be sure to blanch it for 10 seconds, ice it, boom, you're good to go. You could do a whole bunch of avocados at once and you'd be set. Those things are going to last. The water method's great for short storage, not long-term storage because the texture is disgusting. It's just squishy, like not like good, like guacamole squishy, like just soggy, disgusting, rotted fruit squishy. <laughs> the onion method works really well. You could also use the pit method. And hey, you know what? The control method wasn't that bad either. Thank you so much for just sticking through all this. I hope this video was fun and educational and taught you a way to store avocados that are that you've cut into that work for you. If you have something that you wanna see, hey, just let me know, drop a comment down below. I release new videos every single week and I'll see you guys next time.